Hey, welcome back to the Rim World. And first things first, I'm a realist, and I'm a realist who sees we have got a whole bunch of Madden squirrels running around outside. There are seven of them, or so it seems. So here, it's waking up time. Sergeant Pepper, you know what? No. Sergeant Pepper, uh, Rodon, and Squishy, you guys, let's see, how are you doing for your rest? You're pretty good. You're okay. So, you guys, let's see if we can deal with these squirrels. Some, uh, that one's sleeping. All right. And where are they all right now? I want to try to like divide and conquer them. Let's just check it out. Uh, Madden Man, yeah, okay, yeah, a whole bunch of them. But they're all kind of going around that way. So let's take our people and move them down to here for starters. Okay. No, 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 sorry. Who's a minor break risk? Comrade. Not really surprised, to be honest. But anyway, let's get each of you in front of a door. Let's do it this way. Okay, and now... Just come right into the door. Oh, shoot. Alright, there's one. Now, where are these other guys? It's five... Six. Alright, there's one. He's coming around. All right, good, good, good. Let's see what the rest of these guys are doing now. Uh, okay, some of them are sleeping. Are they going to come around? Doesn't look like it. So let's try coming back up here. Actually, let's try coming around to the side like this. Oh, oh, dang it. Dang it, he was coming around. All right, all of you guys just uh, melee attack this squirrel. Uh, sh shoot at that one. Uh, he's downed. Dang it, Rodon has been shot, including in his freaking lung. Let's see. Four more squirrels. Is he a Madden Manhunter? No, he's just wandering. Sleeping and sleeping. I do not know if they'll be Maddened later. Well, yeah, I did pretty good until until that happened. Are there see any more squirrels around? I killed there were seven. Yeah, there are four. Where's the fourth? One, two, three. Ah, uh, not sure, not sure. Rodon. You're actually in no immediate danger though, so let's you guys keep on coming. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Let's uh, shoot this guy. And he's just wandering. So maybe the ones that are left, they're they're not they're not they're not making problems. Maybe is that what's going? On? Okay. Well, I think we're okay now. Sorry, Rodon. I really yeah that that didn't that didn't go as hoped. I'm not gonna lie. Not going to pretend like that was a success because for like squirrels, I should have been able to do better than that. I didn't. So we will do. Let's go ahead and install a bed right here. Pepper, why don't you do that? You'll be the fastest at it. And then Rodon, we're going to get you patched up. We'll go ahead, I think, and give you a little bit of medicine as well. Just because you're going to be like getting patched up out, out in the outdoors and the outsides. And that could be problematic. So you come rest. Soul, I want you to help Rodon here. And speaking of rest, we've got some sick people over here. And we built some uh, medical beds for them. Yeah, Vor uh, Vorname and Bjorn are both sick. Let's go ahead and uninstall these two beds. And uh, we'll put these beds in. And Comrade Polara, what is your deal? Oh, yeah, you're withdrawing from wake up. Yeah, that's that's a thing that happens that it's giving you a really, really bad time of it. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you beer. 
I'm going to try trading one of your, you know, complaints for another one. Maybe not the smartest thing, but it's a thing anyway. It's a thing that we'll do. And uh, good and superior beds. That's good. Okay, it's still, uh, it's 11 o'clock over here. That's right, we're eclipsing over here. That's the problem. All right, the deep drill is still getting stuff stuff drilled out here. I mean, we're here we're still just in the process of getting all of the all of the materials we can, you know, just building up lots and lots of resources. I, I don't know what to do for you, man. I really really don't. Um Rodon's fully healed. Good. That's that's fantastic. Squishy is fully healed. Also good. Now here we got a lot more going on. We're still building things up, and I think it's getting clear we need to build up our defenses. Now my original plan for the defenses was like kind of like a box around here, like I did back the you know back at at this colony, and put in uh, like in here a kind of shooting range, so spots to shoot there and they're coming this way. But then I noticed there's a there is a steam geyser right there, and we might want to build out defense you know build our wall out here and include that so we don't want we don't want people to be coming like right past a, a, a steam geyser to be shooting so i want to redo it a little bit different i think i'll have them so i'll make this like the shooting entrance way kind of right in there and then we'll wall around everything else but to do that we're gonna really need lots and lots of blocks and so we really we need to get you know i need I need Squishy really being focused on this block building. But we also, we want to speed things up. Uh, who is, do, somebody should be doing the cooking around here. It's Sergeant Pepper, but he's got tons of stuff he's got to do first. I guess that's okay. I guess uh, given our priorities, that's probably just fine. But it does worry me a little bit. Anyway, one thing we need to do really kind of right away is make um, a, a room here. So just room it up here. Uh, you know what? When I was making this, I didn't really leave room for a hallway. So let's actually reinstall this medical bed right there. This will be like a hallway, uh, and that means we need some doors. So put a door there. We need doors in each of these, and maybe a door right there will be good. And these will be bedrooms, but that'll just be a way to get from, you know, one spot to another. And so that'll get built. That'll speed things up. We can also build if our steel supply is good enough. It's not. Uh, if we can get some more steel over here, we can build a... Another bench tool tool cabinet, but it costs 200 steel, but our steel supply over here is Great, it's a thousand. So one question I had which is why don't you build another another one of those cabinets and it's totally right Build a cabinet Bjorn build it up. So put it right there. That'll help load up the speed up the Steel or the the production of things. I want to build one over here. We're gonna need more steel in order to make it happen. Also, I want. Is this this is not keeping coal? We we yeah. Are we out of components over here as well? We're out of components, out of steel. We gotta load over a bunch of components and a bunch of steel. For right now, let's allow animal corpses to be in here, but not any rotten ones. And then what we need to do is we need to load up a supply of a, a shipment of steel and components here. So let's do that. Okay. The steel, 26 components. If we send 10, we should be doing okay. And because we're building them here really fast. Uh, 834, it says. Oh, because we just use like 300. Let's send... 500 of that. I know it's a lot, but we'll send it. I think it's a good idea. Anything else we could send over? Um, I don't want to send the plasteel just now. We could send over some more blocks just because only 44, but we are like blocks is something we are trying to get a lot of over there. 
I can't think of anything else that makes a lot more sense. We're doing good for food over there. So let's do that. Actually, yeah, I think that's okay. I was just wondering if maybe we should send some some clothes, some dusters and hats. But I think we are okay. I think we're okay. So let's do that. And let's see how people are doing, first of all, with their flu. 79% immunity for Vorname here. And 81 for Bjorn. I noticed it's our two cooks that caught the flu. I wonder if they got it, you know, from something in the cooking. If that's what was going on. Anyway, okay, we can reinstall these now. And then we'll come back over here. This is getting built. Uh, that'll help speed things up. We're gonna also need some cooling in here because we'll have a heat penalty when it's hot. We also don't have any wood over here. So we should uh, order some chop down. And we also, it will be a good idea, I think. There's some, there's some. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot hanging around, but it'd be a good idea to make a area where we grow some trees as well. Okay, hold it. They finished loading. So let's go with pine trees and then let's launch, launch these things over. Okay, target acquired. We'll drop it right here, I think. And go. Yep. And let's, while we're at it, build up a couple more of these. And we should have, yep, Xana is uh, charging away. Comrade Polara is having all sorts of problems. He's up to 84%. He's tired. He needs to go sleep. He can't, he is sleeping, so that's okay. And Psychoid leaves. Uh, I will haul them and I will sell them, but I don't really want to use them. I don't really want my guys uh, having bad trips. I think that's going to not be a winning scenario. Oh, shoot. This should, uh, there should not be any steel in there. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think someone pointed out that this was screwed up. And yeah, it totally is screwed up. Let's get it, let's get it properly. It should have in here just, um... Chunks, not corpses. Chunks. Stone chunks. All right, get that sorted out. Still can't that doors. I noticed we have a single unroofed square in here. It's right there. So, limestone we're good with. Put a limestone block in there. I hear the thunder. It's raining. Check out the rain. And what is everyone up to? Bjorn's resting, I assume. Uh, Xanit's making the components. We like him doing that. Cargo... Uh, Nick is hauling stuff, and cargo pods have landed here. I mean, okay, I guess. I'll take it, but I'm not super excited about it. Steve is sleeping. It's, his, it's the daytime, so it's his nighttime. Ringo is cheering up for a name. Oh, that's... You know, Ringo, from going from being a total... Oh, look at that. You guys are, like, to the friendly stage. Yeah, Ringo, once upon a time, hated everybody, but he's making friends. That makes me happy. Katie McKay's sleeping. It's her It's her sleeping time as well. Ghost Iron's also doing the hauling. A lot of hauling getting done. Mango's cleaning. Uh, as, I guess, Max was cleaning, now he's not. Resting, and Comrade making pemmican. Coming over here, Soul is planting the trees, which we like. Rodon is chopping down trees, which is good too. Sergeant Pepper hauling stuff around. And this is now indoors. So I look at this and I'm trying to I'm not seeing anything about penalties. So I think we might be doing doing better there. These are all in. Let's set these down to. What's that? That's 34, so let's set them down to uh, 16. That's a little low. It's up to 20. 22. Fine. 22 will do. My math might be bad, but I think that will be fine. And let's go ahead and allow ourselves to put animal corpses in here too. Just not rotten ones. 
Okay, and it's nighttime. Oh, and animals are starving. Hen number three is starving. Uh, yeah, we might have to start working on some some hay for these guys. But uh, we'll take care of that in the morning. We'll let Steve and Comrade Pilara and KWK work overnight, and we'll see them when the sun rises. And the sun is only barely starting to rise, but a local boom rat has gone mad. I mean, a single local boom rat is fine so long as people stay inside. So, Steve, you're heading that way. Let's uh, turn this back on. I'm just going to watch, make sure that nobody really comes outside here. So, KWK, are you getting that switch? Yeah. So, Boom Rat, come on up and do your thing. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Move faster, man. Move faster. We don't have all day. I guess this muffalo needs to get out of the way. Steve? I don't know what you're... Yeah, just wait there. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. So, he actually... I mean, he's not dead. He's been shut off. He's lost its... He got his hump cut off. That's gotta suck. And his red eye... Red eyes cut out. He'll die in 8.2 hours. So, like, if we euthanize him, will that... Will that make him blow up? That's a thing I actually do not know. And I kind of feel like this is not the place to test it. Do I have any steel? No, these are stone. All right. So, yeah, let's just have him hunted. Uh, actually, not even hunted because if if he's hunted, because he's someone might stand right next to him and shoot. And we don't want that either. So let's just get somebody to take care of him. So... Mango. I think you. So you come to about here. A little closer. Nick, you stay right there for a minute. Mango, actually, Nick, you 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 need you need the practice too. So both of you, just shoot at him. He's gonna he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. Any minute now, boom. Well, maybe if you hit him one of these days. KWK, you want to help out? What? So we destroyed the trap. Ah, that was crazy. All right, we got to rebuild a trap because apparently I aimed at the wrong thing. They shot till the trap was destroyed and then like, oh, okay, it's good. We'll stop now. I don't care about the boom elope. Boom rat. Whatever. Some kind of booming thing. Right, we'll turn that back off. Let's come back over here. How are we doing? Our blocks are getting a bit better. Our steel supply looks great. So let's go ahead. Uh, try to figure out how do I see if there's a work penalty. I feel like I should know this, but I, I, I don't. I've forgotten. So let's go ahead, though, and, and put in a tool cabinet we'll put it in about here so it can like it be in a good spot to help other things too and since we got a fair deal of wood now let's make a chair for poor squish and a light a regular light not one of these not one of these funky color ones but uh, a regular old clear white light. So we'll put power there. This is looking pretty good. This was going to be for medical. That's why we put it there in the first place. So let's make that medical. We have zero silver here, it looks like. So there's no point trying to put in uh, any sort of sterile tile. That's not going to make it much sense. But we can put in now a cooler. Let's keep this in the 70s. And we should probably put in a cooler here to keep this in the 70s. And I'm, 
And I'm thinking we're probably going to need to expand our power supply here pretty soon. Let's look. We have 276. Let's get started on our walls. We have 289 now of the limestone. So let's do the limestone blocks. And I think what actually, uh, let's move these. Whoa, that's a bit more moving than I want to do. But let's move all of these out of the way. And then I want to make, uh, where are the visitors? Around here. All right, hold it. Soul, come and chat with Sid. Oh, wait, no, Sid's not the, the traitor. Uh, Bar Barrios? That sounds like some kind of cereal. All right, go, tr go trade with Barrios, part of this balanced breakfast. See, what has he got? We only have two components left. That kind of sucks. He's got three medicine. We got a lot of medicine. We could sell all these joints, actually. We can, actually we can't because they can't they can't afford anything like all those joints. But um, I don't want to buy their luciferium. I don't want to sell my beer. I mean, I'm, do I want to buy these clothes? Not really. They're poor and awful. Could buy their two meals. And just sell them some smoke leaf. Till it gets close to their 127. Uh, we're past it. There we go. All right. That looks like a deal to me. Got a survival meal. Got a lavish meal. Someone will pick that up eventually, I assume. And so Squishy, he should not be like... Oh, he is getting in darkness. So I thought like if the room was lit, then it was okay. But it looks... Looks like it actually matters, like, where it is. So let's put some power down here. And another light here next close to Squishy. So he won't be in darkness anymore. Uh, this is looking pretty good. I guess we could also go ahead and build some more chairs here. Just to get ready for more people coming in. And do we have another? Did we send two statues over? We sure did. So we'll install this statue as well. And, all right, people are sleeping. Why is this sitting here when it should be in here? Because I want all of my meals in here now, and I didn't do that yet. So, pemmican's fine. No kibble, no hay. And animal starvation is still happening. Okay, we've got... These guys are sleeping. They're a bit malnourished. Here's what I'm going to do, actually, for right now. I'm going to put in some sleeping spots like that. And I'm going to make sure somebody is set to handle. Who is my handler? Ghost Iron and Max. Uh, Max actually can handle before he cleans. I think that would be sensible. So he'll come and feed them while this stuff is growing. We have... Okay. Yeah, they're all malnourished. So yeah, he should come and feed them and take care of them. I think they're going to be okay. And then hopefully this will then eventually grow up to where it needs to be. We will have to keep doing that. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. I could start growing. I could start growing some hay. We've got a ridiculous amount of food. We've got enough pemmican. And we're now, I think, where we can actually stop doing the pemmican. And... What we want to do here, I think, is go back to what we had before. So let's... Uh, let's have it where we cook fine meals until we have 30 and then we just cook simple meals forever and we'll just suspend this bill. Just use that one. Now I'm a little worried like, wait a minute, we've got two different people to do this, but I think, you know, Vorname, he's an 11 and Bjorn's a, you know, Vorname's gotten pretty good at the cooking. In fact, we might let Bjorn work a bit more on crafting. Actually, that's what he will do. He'll craft if he can't cook, and then he'll only construct, grow, and mine kind of after the crafting. We'll put him on smithing as well, and on tailoring. And we could go ahead, and we've got lots of, we've got lots of stuff that's not muffalo wool anymore. So we could make a bunch more pants. That's, I mean. Like, just out of leathers and, like, Devil Strand Hyperweave type stuff. So we'll make... Uh, drop it on the floor. 
let's make say 10, 15 pairs of pants. And let's do the same thing for some t-shirts. Just like before, nope, nope. Just like before, well, you know, leathers, no wool, hair, cloth. But the other stuff, we can use all that. Let's make 15 of these. And then like, uh, yeah. And then cowboy hats we're doing pretty good on, I think. Uh, dusters, we're actually okay with dusters too. We've got how many dusters we got. It won't count them for me, so. That's too bad, but yeah, that'll give, like, Vorname, what do you do when you're not cooking? Uh, no, you haul and you clean. So, maybe what we should do is, well, actually, Bjorn, what are you doing right now? Yeah, you're making the pants. Okay, exactly, exactly what I wanted. Let's check out these cargo pods real quick. Oh, some fine meals. Not gonna complain about that. We've got nothing below there. So let's build another one. Let's or let's turn this on real quick just to make sure we're we know exactly where we're building. So come on, get that flicked. Flick that switch, would ya? Somebody? Please? Thanks, Ghost Iron. You're a pal. All right, yeah, it was this side I want to go to. Put that there. Flip that back off and let's 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 do a couple things. Well, I just want to check how things are going out here. I think pretty good. We're Our block supply, I think, is getting a bit better. Uh, yeah, I was checking that that's to be dropped on the floor. So we can, I want to start laying out the defenses here really quick. But this is going to have to get moved anyway. So we can wait a little bit till that's done and get a few more blocks. Oh, oh, oh. Um... A charity worker named Tanya Venus Orchard calls you from nearby. She's being chased by pirates and the shadow executioners. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, she's 56 years old. Be warned if you accept to fight off the pirates on her tail. All right. So. Dilemma number one. I do not know which colony Venus here is going to come to. I do not feel prepared in this colony here to fight off pirates. Even though, I mean, to be honest, given the size of raids and things that come in this colony, it probably wouldn't be a huge group. So maybe it would be all right. The other thing is, like, do I want a charity worker? I don't know what a charity worker can do, so I don't know, like, what I would be getting. And she's 56, and that's like... Like, that's old enough that she's probably got some stuff built up. She's not, like, it's like she's 75, and, like, when she gets sick, it's going to take her forever to get better and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I am really, really, really torn. I am, I, I'm extremely torn uh, what to do about this. But I think I'm going to do it. I think, well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean... We've got a big faction of 15 people. That is a lot. That is a lot. But uh, I, I kind of think I should do it. The thing is, I'm out of time. The, the episode is ba nearly basically over. And even if I say yes, I can't fight until the next episode anyway. So it would just be saying yes to fight later but I guess it doesn't matter I mean the question is are we gonna forget about that just are we gonna save this charity worker who's running away or not and you know yeah we're gonna do it we are going to do it wait what oh it's over here. <laughs> okay. It's over here. It's a pretty big raid. They might attack my rooster. I might not care. Uh, let's see. Can she fight? That's the first question. Nope. No dumb labor. No violent. Great. We got a new artist, folks. We got ourselves a new artist. Well, Venus, 
you flee. We are going to come back and uh, take care of this raid here pretty soon with... Yeah, that's not a few people. That's a lot of people. And they are attacking immediately. But that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.